What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. I put up that kiln unloading yesterday, which was the last kiln unloading question mark. The last kiln unloading question mark. And you guys, like all your comments, I mean a lot of you did yell at me. Like I said, if you yelled at me, I would keep doing them. But they were so nice, and they were so encouraging. And so then I got, they had a full kiln that's done in there. Everything's done in there. And I got here, and I was like, just gonna start unloading it. And I looked in there, and I was like, God, there's kind of a lot of unique pieces in here. All your comments were just like in my head, like, oh, we love the kiln unloadings. I mean, there was a few comments that were like, thank God, the kiln <laughs> There were people that were like, yeah, you should definitely stop. You know what? I thought, it's not that hard to just set up the camera while I unload it. I'll just, I'll just unload it. Oh, a paper cup, sacrilegious. What am I doing? I've probably unloaded, I think I've unloaded like three glaze kilns without filming any of them. Here we go. Check out that mug. So this would actually be like kiln number maybe 40, but it's but on the YouTube it'll be like 37. If I ever decide to put it up, maybe I won't even put it up. Feels good though. It was, it was sad yesterday when I said I was gonna do the last kiln unloading ever. And I don't want you to think I was serious. I was like, I can't do anymore. Cause they were just like, I had three filmed and I had one done and there was gonna be one the next day and it was like, I can't, I can't film them all. I just can't do it. So then I filmed one that was like, this is the last one, question mark. So I left it open to do more. So don't yell at me for doing kill unloadings when I said I was gonna do the last one. I'm doing it based on all the positive comments and all the stuff that you guys said that it's been really helpful for you. Let's do it. Ornaments. So I got a Wisconsin ornament. I got just a white, white with trees in there. That's pretty cool. Just white, blue, green, blue. This one has a little tree underneath the glass. And then there's a green one with the trees in there. So those are good. This guy was the guy that I looked at and I was like, you know what, I have to film this one because I gotta tell you what about this thing, what this is. So fairly eccentric lady came in the other day and brought in this little, this little number. It's like a mug with a metal handle. And so she was like, it broke and I love it and my husband loves it, Can you, do you think you could remake it for us? So I was like, it doesn't seem that hard, it's just like a cylinder with a couple like places. So this is it. Wow, surprisingly, that actually worked. That actually worked. <laughs> I'm so surprised. I'm kind of stoked. I'm kind of stoked that actually worked. That's kind of sweet. I actually like it better than the old one. Man, I used to say never take on custom orders, especially stuff like this. But if you feel confident in your ceramic abilities, never say never. And I think it turned out pretty good. We're just making people happy, you know? Okay, another unique piece is this one. So tomorrow is the day that we're throwing pots at the Mall of America and we're selling, so I wanted to have a couple unique pieces that we could sell there. So this was, my wife carved that the other day. Look at that. Hoo, 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 that is cool. That's really cool. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video of us carving the luminaries, it was an old one, so the production quality is not that great. You gotta clean that up better on the inside. It's pretty sharp, but who would ever stick their hand in there? Okay. I got so much to do today for the Mall of America thing. Here's a couple um, custom lake mugs. So they're Clearwater Lake, Clearwater Lake. That's a lake that's up in Annandale. So that's for Rhonda. Here's some ocean drippy, some ocean drippers. Those turned out real nice. Got that drip. Love a little more consistent drips, but look at that, those drips. Drip, drip, drip. Just looks like frosting or just like, Okay, and then here's, here's some other ideas that I had. So I threw, I just really like having drips, but I hate when they drip off. So I decided to throw mugs that have a little, like, drip catcher. So it's like a little, this was just one piece. I just took a tool on the wheel and just went shoo, and then made it so that the drips, they just drip right in there. And it worked out exactly how I wanted it to. It's really cool. It's pretty unique. Maybe I'll put that one up on Etsy. Then we just got a couple Canyon Sky mugs. Kind of like a swirl, swirl action. There's a pine tree. This is an interesting one. Ooh, we got some drips down there. Oh, excuse me. So we got slip around the edge, got a little texture in there. 
And then we got a big old drip right there. Drips are a part of the game. Ah, we're getting close. We are getting, oh, that didn't even drip too terribly bad. So this was another one of those ones that I threw that with a little drip catcher there. When you make something, you kind of start thinking like, just like, is that a good idea? And I think this this is kind of a cool idea for a couple reasons. It has that base on it, so it's gonna be really sturdy. Like it won't tip very easily. It's not, you know, the thing I would worry about it is adding a lot of extra weight. But it doesn't feel like it's too heavy, I don't think. And then there's no risk. Like, see that drip went all the way down. I could have even loaded that one on a little bit more. Oh, and then this is that morning sun, I think I was gonna call it. The morning sun. Oh, what, I, I was thinking about something else. Oh, I really want this to start like dripping off there, which we're really close to having those just like, these, I mean, it's like pretty drippy already, but we just want like a couple, want a couple to fall. And then got some more trees. Boom, boom. These are definitely going to the Mall of America. Oh yes, oh yes. Hand warming mug in the canyon skies. Those ones that I made were a little, that's pretty good. Not too bad. There's a dripper, another dripper with that uh, drip catcher. I'll call those drip catcher mugs. The drip catcher mug. And then here's some just normal drippers. I'm loving those, loving those. Bomb. Oh, the inside looks sweet. You probably can't even see it very well, but can you see that? We got some serious lights going on this one. So I had four of those mugs that I had put that drip, those drips on. Only one little tiny drip dripped off. Isn't that cool? Isn't that amazing? Fave, fave, love it, love it. All right, last shelf. <laughs> so I listened to that podcast like a couple weeks ago with Warren McKenzie on the Tales of the Red Clay Rambler. I think I talked about that in that one episode. And while I was listening to it, I didn't want to leave the studio because I was like super into it. So I like started just throwing pots. And so I started just like throwing some basic, kind of, I don't know, I was just inspired by the, just different different shapes than I would normally do. And here's one, this is a cup that I like took and kind of, there's like a little score here, and then I took a tool and just cut it off. And so the drips went exactly where, that is like just really sweet. It's a cool cup. So those are just, you know, little testers. There's another one that had like some finger marks in them, so the drips just went right. Super cool. Yeah, a long time ago I threw like five mugs and like did different, um, used my fingers or tools to make different designs in the mugs. And my plan was to do like five things you can, to make your mugs more interesting or five wheel throwing techniques or I don't know, something to make your glazes. Oh, this is cool. So I just had left a little bit of white around the trees hoping it would look kind of like snow frosted. Here's a mug. God. But see, this was this was a fun one. I had a couple. Oh, my mom's calling. Hello? Yeah. What up? Oh, yeah, 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 the font. Well, I don't know. Fonts are hard for me. Like, I just kind of... Okay, I'll be right back. Gotta take care of some business. All right, we're back. Back to finish. This kiln. Boom. Got a little dripper over that. Boom. Boom. And a diamond. So thanks to everybody that left a comment on the uh, last kiln unloading question mark. Last kiln unloading? Cat last kiln unloading question mark? I knew it wasn't gonna be the last one forever, but I just, I had to just take a little break. Three kiln break, oh. I made this thing after kind of thinking about the hand warmer mug, because I don't want to make the hand warmer mug just the same as this company in Clay in Motion. So I'm making this like pocket mug, which I'm kind of excited about. And so this, I'm just adding this on there. And it's so it's similar to a handle. You could use it like this if you want it, if it's hot. But then you can also use it as a hand warmer like this. And it's left-handed and right-handed. All right, anyway, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, Patreon, 
all the things. We'll see you the next video to John the Potter. I love getting mail. It smells good. Oh. Tanglewood Soap Company. Love the videos, haven't thrown in years. Soap dishes for handcrafted soap. So thank you Pat at Tanglewood Soaps. Look at these, whoa, these are like, look at that, whoa. Birch Campfire Winter Wreath Love Potion. Thank you, I really, really appreciate that. That's so nice, I will, I will do some soap dishes.